Welcome to Talking Travel with Wendy. I am so happy to have my good friend, Amika, Raffaella Bucafalco. I still don't know how to say your last name correctly because I don't know how to tell you. My name, my name, Wendy, my dear friend, is Bucefalo. That is the name of the Alessandro Magno horse. Ah. Okay, so it's, it's not very usual surname in Italy. So it's difficult the spelling. Say it again. Time. Bucefalo. See, beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> so okay. I met Rafa in 2015 when I organized a small group tour to her agriturismo and cooking school called Let's Cook in Umbria. And it is just outside of Perugia. And she's going to tell us a little bit more about it right now. Okay. Wendy, thank you to invite me in your. Uh, podcast i would like to speak about me about the how I'll create this project of let's cook in umbria to speak of this i have to speak a little about about of my life okay i i like to share my life in two parts one uh, first life and second life the first life in my first life i was a geologist i had a phd in geology in milan and probably you don't know, but I worked like a freelance researcher in several European countries for 10 years, more or less. Wow. And uh, however, this work was very, very stressful and competitive. I travel a lot and uh, I have other dreams for my life. I would like to have a family. I would like to have a more quiet uh, life. My heart was in Perugia. You know, from my husband. <laughs> so I decided around 2000 to uh, left this job and to change life and start my second life. I, I left the job. I had two children. You know my children. They are now are 20, 21 years old. And I come to live in this uh, family farm. This is uh, the farm of the... Uh, my husband's family, uh, me and my husband, uh, years after years, uh, restored the farm. We built five lovely apartments to rent, uh, built our home uh, and the pool and the garden. And we live in this uh, wonderful place uh, surrounding by olive groves and vineyards. This is the place where you, that you know. Uh, this place in Italy is called uh, Agriturismo. You know that agriturismo is a strange name because it's a name made with two different words, ag agriculture and tourism. Yes. Because we made agriculture and we offer a farm stay for guests. What do you produce at the agriturismo? In the agriturismo, we have two hectares of vineyard and we produce an organic red wine with uh, the grapes are Sangiovese and Montepulciano. <laughs> and during my, uh, the cooking class, this is the wine that my guests drink. Uh, I have uh, fruit, so I made uh, jam with our fruit. I have a vegetable garden and all the vegetables used in the cooking class uh, are from my garden. And we have 850 olive trees. And we produce 850. Very, yes, a lot. <laughs> and we produce a very high quality extra virgin olive oil because you know that Umbria is one of the most important regions in Italy in this uh, production. When I, I come uh, to live in this farm, I start to think uh, like to improve my activity. First time I, I only rent apartments, but then I would like uh, to have more relationship with the guest, increase the relationship. For me, uh, to be connected with people is a very important thing in my life. And uh, so I, uh, I create Let's Cook in Umbria. I offer experience to my guests and I use uh, cooking like a personal language to connect me to the other people. See, si. this is my. And you history. speak English, so it's wonderful. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. I have brought eight different groups to Raffaella in the past four years, right? Yeah, it's true. Yes, it is it's one true. of my favorite. Yeah, it's it is my Indian home. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and you are my American sister. <laughs> yes, Cici. <see, see. laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about what people might experience when they come and stay at 
let's cook in Umbria. Normally people stay with me uh, when make a tour in, in Italy and between Rome and Florence uh, is a very good idea to spend some time in Umbria. Umbria is quiet, respect these two crowd city and the people need a little of quiet after Rome and before Florence. Yes. Each morning uh, people come in my home. I like, I make my cooking class in my kitchen, in my home, because according to me it's very important to give an authentic experience to the guests to share my home, my kitchen. People, we take a coffee together. We use the beautiful cup from the Ruta. I want to say to you that my menu are made only with authentic recipe you know i like to share the recipe of my tradition of my family my grandmother was my teacher mm -hmm. and i normally i share with the guests the recipe of my grandmother Other in the class uh, the classes in my home i have a large uh, you know very well a large open uh, room with a big table where I can cook up to eight people my class maximum are eight people after the cooking they have a private dining room to eat the result of the of the class uh, with my uh, they eat with my wine the summer they eat in the garden i have a beautiful lava stone table yeah. my farm is in perugia is uh, five kilometer far from the historic city center even if the uh, countryside in this part of perugia uh, there is not uh, outskirts i noted that people need also my help for the afternoon i have a lot of people from uh, america from australia they come without car and my farm is not well linked with a public bus. You need yeah. a car. Some people rent a car, some people uh, need my help. So mm -hmm. I organize a tour in the afternoon. I have a very good collaboration with a driver company from Perugia. That, uh, they are very nice, very flexible, and uh, I organize the activity for the afternoon. Yeah. Visit a guided visit of the main city with a professional guide wine tours in Tuscany and in Umbria, truffle hunting, sí. cheese testing. So a lot of, I also organized some program coinciding with uh, uh, event important, for example, Euro chocolate, like you told me, but also Black Truffle Festival in sí. February, the big event of the new olive oil and olive harvest in October, November. So uh, I make program of uh, four days, People come, cook a recipe focused in, for example, in the truffle or in the olive oil. And okay. these are very nice programs to know the Umbria. Tell us about some new projects you've got going on. Yes. Uh, allora, this, you know, when this is a very strange period, yes. I had my last group of tourists in February. Yes, for the Black uh, Truffle Festival, people come. But uh, at the same time, uh, we listen very terrible news. Uh, and this is the last group uh, that uh, I have in my farm. Mm -hmm. All the reservation, I, I was uh, full of reservation up to Christmas. <sighs> but uh, up to May, all are ca cancelled. In Italy, we start our lockdown 10 March. And I stopped to work. And I had a lot of free time. I had some projects started in advance some years ago. The first project was my cookbook. Okay, uh, last month, I think, I published my first cookbook. cookbook. It's a, a book about the pasta shape. And I, I like to, to write a book about pasta because during the cooking class, uh, I noted that when arrive the pasta time, people is uh, very happy. When start to mix uh, flour, eggs, uh, to kneading, uh, all the people is completely inside the Italian atmosphere. Yes. So yeah. there is a big potential in this. Uh, I make this book where I speak about several shapes of pasta the technique, the tool that you need to use to do pasta, and also a little of my memories. Yep. The first part of the book, I speak about kitchen tool, you need to do the shape, and then illustrate. Um, <laughs> and I, there are also 22 recipes 
Awesome. For each pasta shape, I presented the different sauce, the sauce that according me is the best for this pasta shape, and also some memories, some memories about, my, about me, about my grandmother, I made pasta when I was a child, a lot what what, uh, what cooking means to me and uh, okay a lot of something of me the title is sprinkle with flour mm. and is people can buy in amazon my last project wendy is the live online cooking class when the lockdown start uh, i i noted that a lot of people contact me by mail to ask questions about cooking, to ask new recipe, and I feel that in this period the people like to cook, like to cook together, and it can be a good time to yeah. cook together and to make a new friend. So I start to work in this new project, a live online cooking class, to prepare a, from scratch a three-course meal, so appetizer, uh, first course and dessert, under my real-time instruction, so I'm present, and I start to propose this project um, in 15 days. <laughs> and uh, yes, I would like to thank you because uh, you give me a lot of support and you push me <laughs> to do this project. Uh, allora, to do this uh, my online cooking class, what do you need? You need a, a portable device with okay. camera with audio and the internet connection and you need to download this and install zoom application uh, i send to my guest the uh, instruction to do it before the class when i receive a booking uh, i send immediately an email to the guest with uh, all the list of the ingredients they need to buy for the, the class and the list of the kitchen equipment they need yeah. i chose a very simple recipe because I know in this period it's difficult to find uh, some ingredients. It's, it's getting a little bit better over here. Uh, things are yeah. more available. So that should, should lighten up a little bit. But yeah, that's... Normally my cooking class uh, are for five people. Okay. So the group is not bigger than five. The starting time is 6 p.m. Rome because I think it's good time for East and West Coast in, uh, in America. Right. The length is about uh, two hours, two hours and a half, depend on the menu, depend on the people. <laughs> and uh, yes. And it was perfect because when, when you gave me the opportunity to cook, um, we had lunch made. So we had our big meal at lunchtime, which was perfect. And then we had lots of leftovers, so I didn't have to cook dinner either. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I have also a lot of family that live in several parts of America that reserve a private class. So it's a way to stay together with the family, even if it's physical. Eat the same food uh, is like to stay near. Right? Yes, yeah. And we, we're all getting creative during this time, but I love that you can have a cooking class with your family on many parts of the, yes. of the world because you're all united together over really good Italian cooking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have one website, uh, cookingumbria.it, where that is uh, mainly focused uh, in my in the cooking program um, in Umbria. I use my social. I have a Facebook page. I have um, uh, Instagram. And uh, in the, this is a new Wendy, in the last days, I start to prepare a new website. The, the address is online-cookingclass.com. It will be ready in the next days and is only for online cooking class. Perfect. So Rafa, you said the classes were about two and a half hours and that it's personal instruction, small group. It's roughly about 50 to $60 for all the recipes and everything. Yes, this is the cost. Uh, when you want to participate in my class, you buy one ticket. 
<laughs> it is not one ticket one person okay it's one ticket okay for and they include uh, all these uh, copy of the recipe um, well and they have direct access yeah they have direct access to you so if questions arise during the class they yes. can raise their hand and say wait a minute i don't understand like some of us do Yes, the, the, the class can stop in each moment. I say to my uh, participant, I start to, to teach to you, but if, you, if time you need to stop, you say, please, Rafa, stop. I stop and then we go on when all the group is ready. Okay. So, so what is going on in Italy now? Are you still having restrictions? Or has anything opened up? or? No is all closed in Italy now, all the supermarket and uh, pharmacy and, but uh, we stay at home up to 10 March. We don't have a lot of indication about the second step, the next step. Okay. We re really open our lockdown will finish because it's very hard, especially for uh, young people. Stay at home uh, all the day is, uh, is very hard. 3rd of May, we start the next step. Gradually, probably the shop will open, but we don't have any news how, so yeah, yeah. I don't know. I know, I it's, it's anything. such a strange time in history right it's now. It's a very strange time and uh, yes, you very know, strange. So. Well, I love you and I am so glad that you're doing this and just giving people the opportunity to connect and learn how to do some Italian cooking. And hopefully people will be enticed to book future trips so that they can actually meet you in person and uh, fall in love with Umbria just like I have. Thank you. Thank you to you. Thank you so much for joining me today on Talking Travel with Wendy and we'll see you guys soon.